Hello guys! Okay, this is the last vlog with just a bunch of miscellaneous clips. This is from the very end of June and maybe like a day or two into July. That's it! And then we're back onto a regular schedule. I'm sorry, they were a little discombobulated and all over the place. I kept forgetting what I had filmed and talked about. Here you go. Enjoy. Eddie says hi! Say enjoy the vlog! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Where's are you in over their corn? I swear. Those stellar jays actually do more damage than anybody. Crazy chipmunks? I see. I see three squirrels. Three squirrels. See one. Two. And then there's one behind the tree. Three. Three squirrels. You fish. That's a stellar jay. It's called a stellar jay. A stellar jay really likes the corn. He can clear a cob in no time. You helping empty the dishwasher? A big spoon. You want to bring it to me? That's a cookie eight. <laughs> That's a cookie eight. I've assigned Addie to, she's got her own drawer with a lot of her dishes in it. And she likes to help put them away. Knife and a fork. A knife and a fork. Cut. It's cut. Thank you. So the goofballs, the spotted versions, have busted through the plastic to get to the basement and they did that about three or four days ago. And now Max thinks this is the most awesome place in the world. There's a zipper and they just keep pushing so hard on the zipper it separates. Ah. Yeah, you. Look, we have light. Dad got that finished last night. Ow. God, tuck it. What are you doing? Are you running around here like a crazy nut? <laughs> He's also pulled this plastic down too. Big surprise. He thinks this is awesome. We're gonna put furniture in here so it won't be as awesome. Do you like the new basement? Is it cool down here? 
Mm -hmm. You like the basement? This is a fun place to play because it's too hot upstairs. It's not that hot, by the way. State of the basement. The floor is done. The baseboards and casing and all the doors have been hung. We have one door coming in, but that should be in tomorrow. Um, so all that's done. Priming is done on the walls and the ceilings. Um, tile is done in the bathroom. Um, lights. We have power and lights now. Light. So we now have power. So what's left to be done? Next week, we're supposed to get paint. Um, after that, we get carpet in the two bedrooms. And then the rooms are all done, except for the bathrooms. Um, it's gonna be a couple more weeks before we get the vanities for the two bathrooms. Once those are in, I can have the measurements done so we can do countertops. Once the countertops are in, I can do all the plumbing fixtures so we can get the toilets in and all that jazz. Oh, here's the shower. I'm not entirely happy with it, but it is what it is. It's not too bad on camera. There's some anomalies in the tile that I don't like, and the tile guys should have accounted for it, but they didn't. Um, here's the tile floor. It's like a sliced pebble. Not bad. I've never gone with a glossy tile before. Eh, it's okay. In a month, we'll have use of all the bathrooms, and that will be done. We're almost done. This has taken seven months. It's like building a house. We have 1,900 square feet down here that we're finishing. All right, I'm actually supposed to be doing something. I need to take measurements so I can get some blinds ordered. For those that don't know, we've done a lot of the work in this basement, which is part of the reason why it's taken a while. My husband framed the whole thing. We ran all the electrical. We have a friend who is a master electrician who came out and kind of checked everything and ran a couple of lines for us. Most of the plumbing was in place. We did pay somebody um, to come do a little bit of work on the plumbing. We paid somebody to do the drywall because that is just a, it's a, that's a job that would have taken us forever to do. So we paid somebody to do the drywall and the texture. Okay, had to get a new battery. My brother and my husband did all the trim. So all of the casings around the doors, um, hung the doors, all the baseboards. They did all of that. Uh, the closets, the shelves, the window sills. Uh, my brother's a trim carpenter. He does really, really good stuff. Robert and I laid 1,400 square feet of laminate flooring. This is a laminate floor. It actually is really good looking, isn't it? It's got a nice, it's dirty right now, but it's got a nice beveled edge. <laughs> Max likes it. We did end up paying somebody to do the tile in here, which I'm kicking myself. I should have just done it. I thought they would do a really good job and they did it. I could have done what they did. If we're going to have somebody paint just because we're to the point that we want this done and it's gonna take us weeks to paint it if we did it. Everything else we're doing. So we're installing the cabinets, we'll install the counters, we'll do all that stuff. That's the basement adventures, seven months. And that's immediately following us building a house, which took about eight months. Um, immediately following us selling our home, which took us a couple of months to get it on the market because we were, you know, you have to do all your stuff before you put it on the market. And then we bought the lot before then. Frankly, yeah, I'm over it. I'm done with this. As soon as this basement's done, no big projects. None. If it takes longer than a day, we're not doing it. That's what I'm saying. Super thankful and grateful. I am so happy to have all this extra space. So happy. People are probably like, why do you need that much space? We were actually only gonna finish this workshop room and maybe this half bath. And we started writing numbers and doing some things and we're just like, you know what? Let's just do the whole thing. Um, because it was easier to hire contractors and stuff like that if you could do the whole thing. We don't need this much space, but the house needs this much space, as in like the neighborhood and the value around here. So if something happens and we had to sell, we need this basement to be able to not lose our butts on the price of the house. In this neighborhood, this is actually kind of on the smaller side, believe it or not. Um, so really, a lot of this is just so that if we did get stuck and we had to sell the house. There's your house update. I gotta go upstairs and work on ordering blinds. So that if we have a guest in August, they have some place to uh, stay.
Are you singing songs? You can still keep singing. You're pretty cute. Okay, I'll go back to cooking dinner. Bye. Come on, Mia. Let's go eat dinner. <laughs>